What's up YouTube, it's your boy Turok here, and today I bring a Justice League drawing with heroes Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. But before we get started, please follow me on Instagram, I would appreciate it so much, and let's get started. So we start off by sketching the drawing first, and I use Copic outliners in case any of you guys are wondering. And of course later on we start coloring on um, Batman's skin and his cloak and his, and his outfit. In case you're wondering, the the colors I'm using or the markers I'm using, they're called Copic Sketch and Copic Style markers. They are alcohol-based markers, so I do recommend them if you're doing these types of drawings. And as you guys may notice, there's lines on Batman cape, and the reason why I have those lines are for literally detail and 3D visual looks. And guys, when you're drawing these types of superheroes, especially when it comes to DC's superheroes, their art style is very unique. They always have these lines to give it a more dynamic and 3D visual look. And it gives it the more overall superhero impression. And I start using these uh, lines with Wonder Woman and Superman. You will see later on in the video. And as you guys can see here, we already have started in with Superman and I will be doing Wonder Woman's uh, armor as well, as you guys can see. Whenever I'm shading, I usually use uh, gray, gray tones for shadowing. As you guys can see here, I'm using dark gray types to give Wonder Woman the shadowy look. Because of course, when you do drawings, they have to have shadowing, they have to have lighting. Just like pictures and photography you know there's always going to be a light contrasting you something so if you want to make your drawings better i do recommend practicing uh, lighting and toning techniques and if you want you can start off by using gray tones they're not as easy and they're not as hard but just right And as you guys can see here, I colored in Superman's arm with a kind of grayish tone, a blackish tone. And the reason why I do that is once again, the same explanation I explained with Wonder Woman. It's more for a shadowy look and an outlining look. It gives you that 3D visual look. And if you guys do this and you guys color in the character or whatever you are specifically coloring, your drawings will surely come to life you know you just gotta take your patience and you gotta just be realistic if Superman, you know with superman obviously was him wearing a tight uniform and him having these strong pecs and abs and stuff and whatnot 
he would, you know, assume that he'll look muscular and stuff. So obviously he has six packs. He would color it a dark outline with the outlinings of the abs, as you guys can see here for his six packs. And then slowly use lighter colors throughout is what I did. Or then you can use lighter tones and start off with a darker tone, whichever way you use them is still has to like I mentioned in the beginning of the video I do these lining techniques to give it a more you know realistic look and as you guys can see here his cape looks more detailed Now we start off with coloring Wonder Woman's skin tone and I know I missed out on Batman's and Superman's skin unfortunately my camera died so my bad that's on me guys when it comes to skin skin is very complex because skins obviously have so much lighting it's like on those humans when we take a picture friends obviously there's our skin tone changes in every in every side of our body so one side is darker and the other side is just lighter. Okay? So it's the same process with skins. Just take your time and just think about, all right, if the shadows or if the lighting were hitting them in this direction, which side would be darker and which side would be lighter? So if we were to say, in this drawing, what I had in mind was the light was going in towards Wonder Woman's upper chest and face. So the sides will be darker. So as you can see here, there's more light in her chest area and her face area than there is in her arm area and her neck area. And now we start off with Wonder Woman's hair. Now when it comes to hair guys, I know it looks hard and I know it looks deceiving, but when you just give it a try, you know, it comes out easy. Normally what I do is just put in some random lines and then later on, as I mentioned in the video previously, uh, I start off from darker and then to lighter tones. So I just make up these lines throughout her hair and then whatever I feel like looks fine, I just start using a lighter tone, start coloring in that, and then again use a lighter tone, and then color in the rest, if that makes sense. But with that being said guys, hopefully you enjoyed, you will 
but with that being but with that being said guys hopefully you guys enjoy the video I would appreciate it a lot if you guys were to subscribe and like the video please comment what you think about it and be sure to follow my Instagram like in the and be sure to follow my Instagram like I mentioned in the beginning of the video and with that I leave you guys to rest and with that I leave you guys to watch the rest of the video to rock is out.